Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 1212 AD battle for you and look who we are playing with today, it's Georgia! I don't think we've shown them yet off on the channel but they are by far and away one of my favourite factions now to play on 1212. I mean just look at that flag, it looks awesome to start with, but also the cavalry, these are like the Tazruli, I think this is the late uh, faction, uh, late unit here, this is the high Tazruli. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but they're heavy shot Cavanue, and I can't quite decide which one's better. Probably, I don't know, I mean these ones look a lot more colourful and awesome, but these ones just look awesome in like their dark grey uniforms. So I mean, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you prefer the high or the late unit? Because I mean, both are goddamn sexy. But yes, yeah, so we are playing another 2v2 12-12 AD battle um, with some subs. So if you want to get involved in some of these battles, then please do join the Discord down below in the description and you can get in with a chance of playing some uh, battles because we're always wanting to play more battles on the ch and show them off on the channel uh, just need more people um, often to play them so we'll quickly go over the armor comp of Georgia as we've not really seen them before um, while these uh, armies set up they're almost ready we have some mercenary Genoese crossbows wherever in the world the Genoese will find a way of getting there and they'll pay they'll be paid by someone or another to fight and shoot some crossbows these guys just get everywhere. I mean, Georgia, man, you're a long way from home. But yes, we have them here. We also have my main infantry line. I am playing as Georgia. The uh, Asnuri Swordsmen. They are like a late swords unit. They look pretty damn cool themselves with their glorious Georgian flag again. We also have some Tazruli Swordsmen. These are, I guess, like the dismounted version of their cavalry. And these are the late unit. These guys look awesome as well. Look at those sexy men. Oh! Yes, they are scary. Well armoured. Then we also have over here Tazruli Swordsman High. Which also, I mean, they look awesome. These guys just... George is just one of my favourite factions. Like, god. Oh, that is amazing. I'm so... I can't get over how great this mod is. So we'll just put it to normal speed now. We are going up against England. So a very, very strong faction here. He's got his spearman out in the front. Um, in the shield wall formation. He's got his retinue longbows in behind. And gold chevrons. The good, so my uh, Genoese crossbows could be uh, outmatched here in uh, quality. I mean, these guys, look, I like the formation he's going for. Each unit is hidden behind a uh, Spearman unit. Very, very nice formation. Might have to use that more myself. So he's kind of protecting his uh, unit while also firing quite freely. So he's kind of almost got the Pavis formation sorted, but in two, with two units. Though bringing spears is always a risk because they're not usually suited to a uh, pitch battle. But we'll see what happens. He also got some sergeants. He's got English foot knights. And he also has English knights of his own. And mounted sergeants. Mounted sergeants could be an interesting decision. I would have brought four shot carry myself. But we'll see what they can do. They may be better off in prolonged melee than uh, the shock counterparts. English foot knights are going to be interesting to see as well. Because Georgia does not have any shock infantry in its roster. So it's meant I brought a lot more melee infantry. And can form a bigger longer line. But we'll see whether these uh, English foot knights will change the outcome of this battle. Um, but over here we have the Abbasids um, fighting off against the Papal States. So I kind of, even though we're fighting the Papal States, I want them to do well. Being a Pope, I've got to see my boys do well. So we also have their swords here, their heavy swords. These guys are pretty damn elite. Um, we also, what do we have over here? We have, uh, well, the same same unit but on horses. I think Umuni de Arm. Oh no, they're slightly different. These are... Umuni de Arm Piedi. Definitely pronounced them wrong, but who cares? Um, oh, okay, so these are also Piedi, but these are late. They are high, yes. Okay, so they become shock then. He's got pikes, and he's also got uh, Ballesteri. So he's got crossbows of his own, he's got a general back here. And then Abbasids, you can imagine are bringing lots of um, Mamluks. They're bringing uh, some spears from Caliph Hunmut. Um, Again, surprising to bring a lot of spears of uh, pitch battle, but it may p may pay off. And he's also got some uh, footwear jund in the rear with his general of Casa Mamluk bodyguard, and he's also got the Jublan Mamluk lancers, which are very very good. So we're going to probably focus mainly on Georgia, as well they are the new faction that we have not seen before. Um, I've got my cavalry out here, making a nice little flank. You can already see that the English player has got his English foot knights. Ready to support the cavalry here. I'm getting some nice easy shots off with my uh, crossbows on the cavalry. I was like, well, if he's going to leave them in range, I'd rather shoot them. So I was having no luck 
were shooting his uh, retinue crossbows. Mainly because they were hiding behind a wall of spears. But also, just because they're so elite. I think they've got more armor than usual. Or something like that. So, I've killed like one guy. I was like, there's oh, two here. I was like, I'm giving up on this. So I started to shoot his sergeants in the back here because they're leaving themselves, uh, well, very, very open to being shot. They've got smaller shields as well, so very susceptible to being shot. I'm also going to start shooting his foot knights when I get the chance when they're in range. And here we go, the cavalry. I've just missed it. But the cavalry is now uh, engaged. We have a cavalry fight. So let's see where the Georgian cavalry can outmaneuver and outmass uh, and master the... Uh, Outmast, that's not a word. Master the English cavalry. It will be sad to see the English cavalry lose as well, if that is the case. But um, as a Brit myself, England is a superpower that uh, cannot be beaten. It's not allowed to be beaten. But here we go. He's got some sergeants going in um, to help deal with this fight. That will certainly help him. I Have I got any infantry going in? Yes, I do. I have some of the... Uh, Tezraeli swordsman late going in, and they are really beating this cavalry. This mountain sergeant is getting absolutely annihilated. Clearly, they're just not a match. I mean, they have got spears. Well, I actually have brought these guys have maces, so they are they're shot cavalry, but they have like a really good melee uh, weapon. They, well, I presume they have lances as well, but they just haven't got them out, and the sergeants don't have any. So that probably make a massive difference. The longbows are now shooting in here. We have routed the first unit of cavalry and we're sending in our Tezraeli swords to go into the next line of attack. And the cavalry is just getting outmastered. Like, look at this. I'm now breaking his English knights here. And now the infantry charge is going to start over here. Looks like the Tezraeli uh, high are going to engage the sergeants and he's got his foot knights to engage here. We'll see what happens. I'm forming shield wall, so that should give me a little bit of a chance at holding the line. Those big axes otherwise will probably just cut through this line in no time at all. And what have we got here? We have also got a push from the uh, Papal States. They're going to send forward their troops. And they're now actually surround... They're actually in forward and in front of my line. So here we go. It looks like the Papal States are going to help support their uh, their English ally. And they're going to go and charge into the side here. But I mean, these uh, these swords, they don't care. They've not even got swords. They've got flipping maces, these guys. They're morn or morning stars, I should say. And I do apologise that there's a load of bushes in the way. Always a bush in the way. But there we go. He's actually breaking my cavalry out here on the flank. This unit is going to break. So he's going to win the fire extended flank, you imagine. Um, English foot knights actually uh, holding against Tezraeli. Uh, Tezruli. Tezruli? Tezruli, I think. Not Tezraeli. Tezruli. Swordsman. I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong. If there's any Georgians here, I do apologise. Or just anyone that knows how to say it. I do apologise. I just can't pronounce words. But, I mean, we've got more swords now going in. We've absolutely annihilated them here. They are actually surrounding our flank here. My uh, main foot, like, sol soldiers are actually having a bit of a problem with these sergeants. But we'll deal with them in no time at all. Um, I've got cavalry all the way out here for some reason. I think these are the guys that broke. I don't know. They're just doing something or other. What cavalry have I got left? I've got this unit of cavalry here. That's got 50. That's fairly strong. I've got my general and another unit of cavalry here. Fairly strong again. Uh, the flank, I basically won the cavalry fight. It's now coming down to what we can do here. Because Papal State's got a huge gap here. He really could have gone for my uh, men Mercy Genoese. I know I have this cavalry here protecting. Um, but it's worth the risk. He could have taken out my archers. But his pikes are now going in. And here we go. The these could be the big decider. Because uh, Abbas the Abbasids have no uh, answer to this. All they can do is shoot at them. Which is not a bad answer. But in melee, these guys are going to do nasty work. I mean, these... Spears, the Caliph Hun Humad are gonna like probably get pushed back. Our general's under attack. Oh well, I sent him into fight. That's not a that's not a fight. But here we go. Looks like I'm gonna there's gonna be an infantry uh, not an infantry a cavalry clash here. It's gonna be two generals fighting each other. And my uh, what is it? Uh, this looks like the king's bodyguard. Okay, and the general's bodyguard. So we've got two bodyguard here fighting out against my general's bodyguard. We'll see who wins that. I've I did ask my uh, Abbasid ally to bring over some footwear, Jun, just some infantry to help support this fight. I'm not too worried about using the losing the cavalry unit. It's more that um, I don't want the uh, cavalry then to be free to go and attack my crossbows because my crossbows are doing work right now. And here we go. They're going in. They'll help even this fight out a bit more. 
because King's bodyguard and General's bodyguard, they're tough. They are tough. Shame it's not the papal bodyguard. That would be really cool. But he's found a gap in my line as England again. And this time, it's uh, Spears are going to go through and he's going to surround them. He's already started surrounding uh, me here and he's breaking my uh, swords with retinue longbows. So well played by him there. 77 men breaking. That's not a good sign. But this is worrying. He's, there's a lot of units here br uh, that are able to outflank. So we'll see what happens here. Look at these. These uh, retinue longbows, they're just going to carry on shooting at point blank range. Oh, that guy got shot in the back of the head. Oh, gosh. That was horrifying. Man, just slumped the physics for that. He just like slumped over, just like hang for a bit, then slumped. And here we go. The cavalry going to charge into the uh, arch, as it would seem. Can we see that? Oh, we're going to see it. They come out with the bushes. Excellent. And those, uh, those archers won't last long. Even on Gold Chevron, you won't last long there. The spears are going to go in and try and support. I've got archers, uh, swords now attacking the archers here. And Genoese crossbows I've got dealing with rest new longbows. Just to hold them up. I don't want them carrying on surrounding me. Um, over here, it looks like we've won the fight. England still got his uh, general, as does uh, the Papal States. He managed to drag his out. He's now got some swords in here supporting that fight. But we are winning the fight generally. My cavalry is just it's taking names. 23 of them left, and they're still winning this fight decisively. But yet, yeah, that's it. It looks like England's general's about to break. Papal State is going to send in his. There's a huge cavalry and infantry fight going on out here. The Jubilant uh, Mamluks probably will win this because they're flipping good as well. But he has got halberdiers in it. He needs to really push his halberdiers forward. They're not actually really fighting anyone. He needs to just get them forward about another couple of... Another meter or so, and they'll do just fine. He also looks like he's got um, Mamluk foot guards in here as well. And there we go. England's lost his general. I think Papal States has lost his as well. And that is probably going to wrap this battle up if both generals are lost. But it was at moments that was quite a close battle. Um, England did eventually get outmaneuvered over here with his cavalry, but he's but Papal States is still well. If he hadn't lost his general, was very much still in this. But unfortunately, he's uh, lost most of, his, most of his units. And his gunners, I didn't even realize he had gunners. But they've just got caught out. That's a shame. And they've, uh, they're have they going to get killed by some footwear jund. Who are apparently losing slightly. But so are the uh, gunners. So apparently neither side wants to win that. Um, but I mean, look at this chaos. It looks like it's going to come down to the Abbasids and the Papal States. It looks like Georgia has won his side. Or well, I've won my side as Georgia. Against England. It's basically wrapped up. It's now just going to come down to some uh, Ballesteri just holding the line. Against some uh, Khalif Hummats. Brave, brave Pavis crossbows here. Holding the line. I've yet to see the Papal States do too well. They've not they've got an okay roster, but like they I don't know, they seem to be lacking something. They just seem to be lacking something. Maybe some better maybe mid-tier shock infantry or just better uh, infantry generally. But I mean these I mean fairly shock infantry do goddamn well. They cost like a thousand a piece though. So you have to really like commit if you're gonna use them. But they are taking names, all in their, like, silver armor. There's not head to toe. Not a bit of them, like, uncovered. Not quite sure how you block with that, you, with that like, axe. But they did it. And there you go. They're breaking. Now it's just down to, basically, this force here. Yeah, ba nearly everything else is broken. The mighty Georgian army has done its, done its job. Excuse me, I'm just, like, dying of hiccups here nearly. So what happens when you talk so quickly, I guess. You get hiccups. But yes, the Jul the Julban Mameluk Lancers are going to win this fight. And it's just chaos. Cavalry fights when there's like huge just look like chaos. I would not want to be in one of them. And there you go. The Halberds are breaking. That's not a good sign. They have um, shields. They're pretty damn good. And there we go. A decisive victory um, for Georgia. I kind of just showed that battle off because I really like Georgia. And I just thought... Definitely worth showing. It's not the closest battles ever in the world. There's definitely close ones on the channel. Um, so I'd check those ones out. But um, 
first time playing as Georgia, I really enjoy playing as them. And so, yeah, so I'd just like to thank Adam CK2 Bro, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Aiden for joining me for that battle. Um, apologies to Microsoft, that was a, a brutal fight for him to really fight through. Didn't really, none of his units did particularly well. 63 for his English foot knights, probably the best. Actually, no, 104 retinue longbows. That's not too shabby, um, to be fair. But his spears, look at them, just not worth bringing. Might as well have brought more sergeants or something like that. But um, and maybe not brought uh, mounted lancers, or oh, sergeants, sorry. But um, who knows? On another day, he may have won that. Um, but I mean, if you look at my Tazruli High, the high unit getting the most kills, 234. Uh, 123 for the uh, was the top for the late unit. My crossbow's doing okay, only getting 100 kills with a few of them. 104 kills with my Tazruli Swordsman High. And my late ones getting 172 and 176. So that's very... And 166, sorry. That's very good. My general getting 113 kills. That's not too bad himself. And um, these Aznuri uh, Swords getting 162 is the highest there. Um, Adam CK2, what did he do really well? And his Lancers did okay. Uh, joining the battle late, his spear is doing the best, getting 147 and 121, and his foot Mamluk's doing okay, as always, these guys always do fine. Um, Aiden, playing as the Papal States, uh, do rep I do uh, respect that, that was very good to play come as the Papal States. Um, but uh, 125 kills and 101 kills, not too bad actually with his shock infantry, but not and that one getting 95 is not bad either. They clearly did okay, but they just got out overwhelmed at the end there. His sword's not doing great at all. None of them even get breaching 20. His uh, Ballisteri doing okay, getting like 60 odd kills. That's okay. And his Cav just got outmaneuvered. That is awful to see. Not awful from Aiden, but that's just, well, shocking. I guess that just shows the power of the Jubilant Mamluk Lancers and like Foot Mamluks, to be honest. But anyway, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed and you're new around here, then please do leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment as well if you enjoyed the uh, battle. And let me know if uh, there's any uh, battles that you'd like to see, basically. And also don't forget to join the Paper Legion Discord if you want to get involved in some of these battles. We are always looking for new players and it's just great to play with uh, subs. I'll, those got You guys that, well, made this channel and... Um, enjoy these battles so much. So anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, bye for now.